G'day all and uh, welcome back to Murder Valley. Now, a question I've been asked yet again recently is how long should pickup shoes last? Well, that really depends on how good your track is and how level you've got it. So I've actually just replaced, this is the chassis I've been racing on the Murder Valley Time Attack Challenge with the last season, because I think the bull, that's the first season I've run with the Bulldog, season, month, sorry. And these are the pickup shoes that I have just taken off it. Now, I have driven this and driven this lap after lap, and that's as bad as it gets. Now, I would consider that for a race chassis. They need, I'm, I'm having problems around the track with contact, and it's just yeah, hesitating in little parts, so I'm taking them off, you know. It's a racing chassis. If it was just a thing I drove around every now and then for um, novelty, I wouldn't bother me. So, I've done about two or three laps around the track and they're brand new pickup shoes and pretty much you'll see there's no lines and it's pretty much just buffed the surface of the pickup shoe and nothing more. Here's another, uh, here's a Tommy Turbo that I was running for the first couple of months in the uh, Murder Valley Time Attack Challenge. Again, with a lot of laps driven, um, there'd be thousands and thousands on this. Um, so if you, if you, if your rail heights are nice and level and, you, and you've got it so you don't have that clickety-click sound, this is the sort of wear that you can expect to get out of your pickup shoes. Now, if your track's not, if your track's not level, this is what your pickup shoes end up as a result looking like. So, of course, I mean, there's other, there's other issues. This, this is wearing heavily on the front of the shoe. So how you'd fix that is you just pop something under the rear of the shoe and just bend the front so that when it's sitting on the track that picks the shoe up and the same if it's heavy re you know rear wear that that's that's obviously what you're aiming for is a nice a nice flat pattern front to rear so my magna traction that i've been that i've been driving around in exactly the same deal the the center of these pickup shoes are worn just a little bit too much it's starting to hesitate around the track very very difficult to get a good consistent lap when the car's hesitating so i will be changing these pickup shoes before i do my times and uh just for a bit of novelty sake these are my mail calls this week i've got um three uh g plus chassis that have turned up with bodies that are in various in various um states of uh disrepair that body is actually pretty tidy i suppose um not really a big fan of that shape and then i've been um catching up on my foam tire orders because i haven't really done much this year as far as producing tires and these ones are to suit the afx specialty chassis they also fit the uh jag dr1 um not so good i found on the auto world 4 gear because the the rims are tapered so yeah that they just don't sit as nice. I mean, I suppose I could put something on and sand them after they're fitted, but still, it's not really ideal. Um, but yeah, so that's just what I've been up to. Obviously, my track is still getting worked on. I've got a million things I've got going on. But this weekend, if anyone is involved or curious about the Murder Valley Time Attack Challenge, I am planning on doing some times this weekend. And this this month is Open Voltage Month. So what that means is uh, get get your racing get your racing chassis so it's uh one one class is bulldog or tommy turbo whichever one you like uh which whatever tires you like but everything internally in the chassis must be standard standard motor um standard magnets like we're using the the wide magnet but yeah whatever tires are available you go for it and then body all you have to do is show in the video you have to pop the body off show that your chassis is legal because i can tell by looking at them whether the magnets are legal etc and then the body was must weigh more than 3.5 grams to be legal um but yeah so we were running on 15 volts with the bulldog turbo but uh, this month if you think you can run faster on 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 volts whatever you like if you think you can get a faster elapsed time for 20 laps on a different voltage to 15 now's your month now's your month see if you see how you go and it's the same deal with magna traction so it's i don't have a, a x traction here but magna traction versus x traction x traction must have the uh extra little button magnet that they have removed 
uh, body must weigh more than 3.5 grams. You must show the chassis showing that it is uh, that it is legal. So for a magnet traction, traction, it must have the standard magnets and the red armature. And then the extraction must have the standard green that it comes with. And yeah, so again, open voltage. If you think you can get a faster, a faster run on a different voltage, do it. So I'm looking for people to come and have a go. And you know what? What I'm also looking for... I obviously very favour my foam tyres very much. I think these these Viper tyres are, are pretty good. But you reckon you got a better tyre? You reckon you can? You reckon you got something quicker than me? Prove it. I'm up for all challenges. Happy to be humbled. Come and race. All right. I'll uh, see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.